Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. I am not your daughter. I owe you no politeness. I owe you no respect. You have not done well enough to deserve my respect. Do not hold me. Do not stop me. I will never, ever listen to you as Olori actually cried in public begging um, Diola to listen and to let go of everything that has happened in the past. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dela Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce. It's still on the Royals. Dela writes, my Dela writes, how are you guys doing? I appreciate you. I love you. I care so much about you. You are my real, real, real MVVs. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> If you're here and you're yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? Kindly go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Report reaching us right now is that Diola is like not laughing, not smiling. Like she came prepared for Olori Ashley. It's like this is a very serious retribution for Olori Ashley because Diola is beginning to you know, um, re, re, you know, begin, beginning to re, getting to that point where she's beginning to reminisce everything that happened in the past. And she is not finding it funny because they say she is in a place where she feels guilty for a lot of things that happened to Olori Naomi. She was very close to Naomi. Naomi was like a sister to her and everything. They were quite close. And she loved Tadenika was so much in that palace. And so when that event happened, she felt as though if she had been there for Queen Naomi, Naomi probably wouldn't have gone on Instagram to post that. Ashley would not have done what she did that led Naomi into going on Instagram to post that out of anger. And they said she has been the guilt. She was crying. They said she's been crying, that the guilt has been eating her up. That is the last mother who is even telling the Olan not to uh, feel guilty about anything, that she is not responsible for what happened between Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi. She did her best as a stepdaughter. She was always there loving Queen Naomi and loving Tade Nikawo. So right now, you do know that Ashley and Diola were also close. You have heard that while they were in London before Oni was made um, the Oni of Ife, that um, uh, Ashley was there and Ashley was part of the raising of Diola to a very large extent in London. You do know that they say Ashley uh, uh, was um, betrothed to the Oni of Ife from a, not so like teenage years then and all of that but then again um that relationship i think uh, uh ashley is feeling bad because one thing that brought uh he and only of if that close was diola you know the only of if at the time was a single father i don't know if you people heard of a time where um uh, diola's mother came out and said only was not um, caring only um, was not responsible for Diola that he abandoned Diola when Diola's uh, grandfather came to say that the Ogunsi's family have not done him any wrong the daughter will not spoil their relationship and all of that but throughout that period where you know Diola now started going to the father it was Ashley that was there so Ashley was there for Diola and that relationship between Oni of Ife and Diola and Ashley I mean made Ashley's relationship with Oni of Ife very strong because Diola is a child that Oni has always loved Oni explained that the reason why um, she and why he did not take Diola from the mother was because she she didn't know how to take care of a child and you see it's the same thing that has been happening with Tade Nikawo. Even though they have pushed a lot of people who think they want to hurt Queen Naomi, have been pushing Oni of Ife to go and collect Tade Nikawo so much. Oni has declined. Oni has refused to collect Tade Nikawo because Kabiasi himself knows that he cannot take care of Tade Nikawo. It's not even easy to take care of Tade Nikawo. So that was what happened. So right now, um, that relationship between Diola and Oni of Ife I mean, and Ashley means a lot to Ashley. Ashley feels further estranged from 
uh, 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 Oni or maybe because Diola is not there. They used to be very close and they love themselves so much. And actually feels that maybe it's also because Diola is not happy with her that is making Oni estranged from her. You know, that Oni or Vife used to be very close to Ashley. We saw that when they first got married, they were traveling together. They had issues. There was a time Oni even um, flew to go and uh, spend time with Ashley in UK. That thing that brought so much quarrel between Ashley and Oni and now uh, um, uh, Miriam. And you, you could see them traveling. You could see them doing things together. But to tell you the truth, between you and I, when have you seen Oni and of Ife and Ashley? You don't see Oni of Ife and Ashley. You hardly even see him with um, the, the the wife. Um, recently, you, you could see him like with um, Olori, Mariam and all of that. And of course, they go for event that has been slated. But when was the last time you saw Oni of Ife and Ashley? Only of Ife and Ashley are no longer as close as they used to be. Allegedly, I have told you I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife. I am not the one who is saying this. Me, it's Jis. When I hear Jis, I bring it to you. So you bear in mind that these are all alleged Jis. So right now, as events are going, they say this is bothering Ashley so much. Ashley is trying to make up with Diola because she feels as though if she makes up with Diola, there is a likelihood that things will turn out well between her and the Oni of Ife because they are for that they are estranged like it, it's not it's not looking good at all again these days Oni is drifting apart from all of them and going closer to Lori Naomi you know they said that what goes around comes around these women thought that they were smart these women thought that they can just go a- ahead and, and, and collect something that was not rightfully theirs and leave Naomi in the cold but God is showing them that look except I build a house they build that bills in vain and um, everything is just you know turning around for Naomi's good I the, the things that Naomi has acquired this uh, uh, two years that she has not been in the palace personalities that Naomi has made uh, the gift that Naomi has gotten from the Oni of Ife look at that mansion in Abuja for Tadenika where ministers here um, if you know people who are resident right there in Abuja in Nigeria they will tell you that uh, Minister's Hill happens to be those high, high brow area in Abuja where you cannot get any property. In in fact, uh, they said that in fact people who are living in that Abuja, Nigeria, those who are living in a place called Metama, are uh, people who have so much money, who are rich, who that if you know Chop Belefu, you know if you live those in those places. Nami has a house there by virtue of the fact that Oni gifted it to um, Tadenikawo. We are talking, are we talking about the oil well? Are we talking about a whole lot? She's got a house in the UK and all of that. And these things were not there. Oni was not even forthcoming. When Nami was in the palace, they say most things that there was even a time they had a problem um, over birthday, um, Nami's birthday, uh, yeah, money for the birthday celebration caused problem in the palace. But this is the same Oni that will, that will bring 100000 80000 $70,000 right now for Naomi without blinking. And I say everything has worked together for good for Naomi because Naomi is a child that loves the Lord. And Diola is saying to Ashley, I do not want any reconciliation. I don't want to be with you. I owe you no respect. I owe you no politeness. Don't hold me. Don't drag me. They say it was in public and it was a public embarrassment. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.